Hello class, once again, welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial is one of the exercises or activities that we started in class and we were able to accomplish with Photoshop 7. This is the Photoshop tutorial making your subject pop out of a photo. We have in front of us the football players and what we would like you to do is pop the heads and the feet out of the photo and make it look like it is a three-dimensional type photo on top of a Polaroid or postcard and so what we're going to do is we're going to follow our tutorial step by step and step one is duplicate the background layer once again we have our background layer here my favorite command J creates a new layer and duplicates it then what we're going to do is add a new blank layer between the two existing layers uh, you can hold down the command on the Mac or the control on the window and then click on the new layer icon and the new layer icon is the one that is the little dog ear. If I click that you'll notice that it installed a transparent layer. You can tell that by the little checkerboard pattern. It installed a transparent layer in between the two by holding down the command or the control. The next thing that we're going to do is fill the new layer with white now in order to do that I have to go back to my default colors by selecting D on the keyboard that will bring black in the foreground and white in the background then if we choose the command delete or the control backspace if you're on uh, Windows it will fill the new layer with white and you can see now that the checkerboard pattern is gone so indeed it is in white the next thing we want to do is select the object in the photo that we want to have popping out or looking three-dimensional. Now, of course, once again, I don't want to show off my pen skills, so I've already selected my players and I've saved them as a selection. So I'm going to load my selection by using the select to load selection. And underneath here, I've called it players. Select OK and you can see I've traced around my photo and there's the marching ants that are going around both my players. The next thing that we want to do is copy the selection to a new layer. So we're going to press the control J to copy the selection onto a new layer. So I'm going to click the layer one and I'm going to select command J and now the players are on a new layer. So if I click the eyeball there you can only see the football players that are there. The next thing I want to do is to drag a selection around the rest of the photo that you want to keep. Now this is what I was trying to explain in class that if we select a rectangular marquee tool and we choose part of the rectangle you notice that their heads are going to be popping out here a little bit and if you look at the bottom their feet will be popping out of the photo just a little bit so here's our heads that are above the what's going to be left in the picture and the feet are below what is going to be the bottom of the picture after we do that we are going to add a layer mask which is this button right here underneath our layers palette we're going to click the add layer mask piece and of course I did that wrong so I'm just going to do the command J we go to layer one first and then we add the layer mask and of course we can see now that it clipped off the piece of the photo that we did not want and it's starting to shape take shape on the three-dimensional piece where their heads are popping above and their feet are popping below our picture that we have in the middle uh, the next thing that we're going to do is to add a stroke to layer one. So we are indeed on layer one. We're going to click the layer styles, which is the FX button down here. Then we are going to choose to add a stroke, which is the one on the bottom there. So we're going to choose to add a stroke. Now on your instruction guide, it tells you to position this and what we're going to do is instead of the outside we're going to go to the inside and then we're going to choose the 13 as the pixel size right there and then I'm going to just select white a uh, white color there and just say OK to the white 
and our stroke is complete once I click the OK button. Now you can't see the stroke right now, but it is there. You're going to start seeing it when we are able to put the drop shadow onto it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to select layer 3 by holding down the shift key. You can see that both of these little lit up uh, light blue and then we're going to select command E or control E and that merges the white stroked layer along with the photo layer right there. The last thing that we're going to do is add our drop shadow. So once again, we're going to go to our effects palette and we're going to choose our drop shadow and we'll put in here the angle that we want, the angle of 120. The distance, we're going to keep at 5 pixels. The size, we're going to change there now to where we have a uh, 10 pixel drop shadow and we also last but not least want to drop the opacity down to about 60 percent here and I'm going to select OK and as you can see the heads right there starting to look like there's a little bit of shadow there there's some shadow that's going on underneath the feet I'm going to go ahead and take this down I've got this zoomed in a little so that I could trace the football players heads. I'm going to zoom this out a little bit and as you can see it kind of has a really nice three-dimensional looking effect. It looks like they're popping out of the picture and that's finished now so I will see you again on Thursday. Good luck with this.